Hi there. I have recently been reminded about an old blog post that I did just after I've left the corporate world. It was so amazing. In corporate world, you are so busy, you are part of the rat race, you don't always get time to put things in perspective. And those first years being an entrepreneur, I enjoyed the solitary time. I enjoyed thinking about things, putting things in perspective. It actually unleashed so much creativity that I was able to get stories and to start writing blog posts. The blog post that I'm talking about will be here at the bottom of the screen. And it was based on the story of the tortoise and the hare. Now, please excuse me. My second language is English. And sometimes I get confused between a tortoise and a turtle, and my husband tend to laugh at me at that. But please excuse me if I get it wrong. It's the tortoise, the land animal that walks very, very slowly. He will typically not win any race with any other animal except maybe a snail. The hare is known for being fast. The hare is known for looking at it and just running away as fast as he can. Now, in the story, the hare dared the tortoise for a race and said very boastfully that he will win any race with the tortoise. The tortoise actually agreed, and then they went on the race. And the hare started off with a winning streak. But not long into that, the hare got distracted distracted with food, distracted with other people, distracted with these extra detours that he can do. Um, no problem because the tortoise is so slow. And it ended up in the head taking a nice break. The tortoise were very, very focused. The tortoise knew exactly what to do and he went slowly and steady into this race. At the end, he won the race. And we normally love this story because we love the underdog winning any race. But how is that relevant for the times that we are in today? How is that relevant for what I want to share with you? Well, I believe I've been in a hair race, maybe not in a rat race, but in the race of a hair when I was in corporate world. So much so that I was busy the whole time. But what did I have to show for that? Did I really see life in perspective? Did I really know what was the important things in life? The things that I can show, were they really things that I wanted in my life? I was very busy, very busy many times with things that did not add value. Well, in my new entrepreneur life, having a bit more turtle time, taking things slower, thinking things through, I've realized that I'm sometimes much more productive because I thought it through, because I have decided what will have the biggest impact. What are my priorities? What will add value at the end of the day? Making me a much happier person as well. I believe we all are in the rat race. We are all in the hair race. We, we cannot always get away from that. But just being a hair, running after every little thing coming your way, will not be a good life to live. You need to build in some tortoise time, building some quiet time in your life, building time to have perspective, to, to think about what do I want to achieve in life? Is this what I'm pursuing really the right thing or is it just a detour that I'm on? Is it just a distraction in life to keep me busy, to feel like I'm busy but not really achieving anything? We are going into a new world. We do not know what waits for us after this corona scare pandemic that hit the world. I believe we cannot go back as heroes anymore. We also cannot allow ourselves to be tortoises the whole time. What we must do is create a new creature, a merger between a hare and a tortoise. Yes, we need to run. Yes, we need to be productive. But do not do it for the sake of being busy. Do it intentionally. Make sure you build in some quiet time in your week. Build in some time to reflect, some time to put things in perspective. That will create direction. It will create focus for you. It will actually unleash creativity that you are not used to. Use this time constructively. Use it intentionally so that when we go back to our new normal, however that will look like, that you are creative, that you can become productive. Help your head to run the race and build in 
often build in steps for your hair to reflect, to quiet down with the tortoise so that you can get the right direction to move into. Coaching is one of the beautiful tools. That is exactly what we will do in a coaching session. We will help someone to put in time in their diaries, to reflect on what they are doing, to help them to prioritize, to assist them to think about life, think what will really add value for you at the end of the day that will make you more productive. All the studies show that proper coaching will make you more productive. It will give you perspective. The link of the blog post will be here at the bottom of the screen if you want to hear more. So go out, use this time, become tortoises for now, so that your hair at the end of the day can win the race of life.